Okay, um, if we want to, and we do, um, put some milk or juice in our glass cup for our cereal commercial scene, um, then we need to do a couple things here. It's kind of a lengthy process a bit, but I'm going to try and go as fast as I can and explain it as well as I can. So we can get some milk or juice in there. It's just your preference. I will show milk here. Milk is opaque and it's a little bit easier um, to do. So I will show that. I've got my glass cup here. It's not glass on here, but when I render it, it looks like glass. So what I need to do is tab into edit mode. And um, all I need to do, I'm just going to place an object inside there. So the easiest way to get an object that's the same size as the inside of the glass is to just duplicate the inside of the glass. Uh, first though, I want to make another loop cut because I don't want the milk to come all the way up to the top there where I have that line. So I'm going to do a loop cut, control R, and bring it up maybe to about there. So it's full but not too full. Now I, ha I need to select all these faces and I'm going to duplicate them. So I'm going to hit control tab and go to my face select or just come down here and click this right here, face select. And I like the selection. Okay, first of all, this has got a modifier, a Boolean, let's see, a subdivision surface modifier on it. I'm going to click the eyeball right here to get rid of it. And it's also smoothed, but that's okay. Um, so that I can't see it, so that, so that I can see the faces a little better. So I'm going to do a circle select C, and then I can scroll bigger or smaller, and then just click and drag, and I'm gonna get all those, whoops, I got a few too many. I'm going to hold down shift and get those out of there. Okay. So I've got everything in the center selected. Then I hit escape to get out of circle select mode. So I've got all that selected. Now I'm going to duplicate it. So that's shift D. Shift D and there it is. There's the inside. And that's what I want to make look like milk and then place it back in there. So I'm going to hit Z after I duplicate it and pull it up outside of the cup so I can work with it and then I'll place it back down in. All right, now I need to put a top on this because the milk is will be solid or seem solid, the object is anyway. So um, first thing I do before I deselect anything, I wanna make this a separate object. So if I hit P on the keyboard, it's going to separate it by selection. I already have it selected. And then it's kind of confused at what I'm what I have selected, two different objects. So I tab back out to object mode, right click on it, and then I can tab in. And now back to object mode, I can uh, there's a difference between the two, two different objects. So I'll tab in. And I'm going to stick a top on this, and we've done that before. So we just control tab to get edge select, alt tab on the edge, extrude, E, and uh, scale S, so extrude then scale down to zero, so hit zero on the keypad. Okay, now it's a solid object. The reason it's so dark is because it's inside out. We took the inside of the glass and made that the outside of the milk. Um, if it bugs you, if not, it doesn't really matter, but if you go to mesh and normals and flip normals, first you have to select it all, normals, flip normals, then it will look more normal. Okay. Now, this, I, dupli uh, I duplicated it and also has a modifier on it. Um, so I can unshow that. Oh, it was unshowed. If I show that, it's rounded, and the milk is not going to be rounded like that. So I'm going to loop cut again. again. Control R, loop cut, and bring that all the way up to the top. We don't want that rounded at all. Okay, and then I'll de-show it again. Now I've got the inside. So if I go to wireframe mode, Z, I can select all A and pull that back in. I'm going to zoom in on it and go to ortho view 5 on the keypad and 1 side view and I can just pull that right back down right where it was. Now a problem with that is that if it's, uh, I don't want this milk to get inside of the glass at all. So I'm going to scale it down a bit just to make sure it's not, if it's like right on top of the glass it just doesn't it kind of messes it up so I'm gonna scale down um, inside the glass a little further 
um, and that will make it better. But you can kind of test it out and see how it looks. Okay, so that's uh, mainly what we're doing with the object. But now I have to make sure that it's um, the color that I want because when I duplicated it, it duplicated the glass. So if I go to materials, see this is glass, just like the glass is glass. <laughs> so I want this to be a different material. So click on your milk or juice. I'm going to click the X right here. Let me make this bigger. Come on. Uh, I'll click the X here. I want to get rid of that material. I'm going to make a new material and it defaults in a second to the diffuse shader and it's white but it's not completely white so I'm going to click on that and drag this all the way up to the top make it completely white and that will be a little better now it's not going to look 100% white unless I get a lot of good lighting in there and my lighting's not great right now but I'm going to render this F12 see what it looks like here it takes a little while my computer's super slow um, but we're going to have we should have some milk in there and like I said it's not going to be really white unless I increase my lighting and I don't have my three-point lighting yet so I will make that a little bit better so there it is in there I can switch the slots as soon as it renders all the way and see what it looks like without the milk and my samples are pretty low and it's pretty grainy so it doesn't look really great and it almost looks like something's wrong in there but we'll see okay if I change it to slot one come on render render back to slot one there's my empty glass I changed it to slot two and rendered it with the milk so I could compare and there it is it's got some milk in there maybe I could have gone a little bit higher a little bit taller glass and once I increase my lighting it's gonna look a little more white in there so it'll look better um, if I wanted to try something else, and um, I could go to slot three. Oh, I've already got one there. If I hit escape out of there, um, and then the next time I render it, we'll go to slot three, and then I compare again. Can compare, and so I could decrease the size of that, make it a little bigger, maybe, but um, uh, maybe maybe make it a little bit taller, and then re-render. And there's my milk or juice. So juice, you could just make it a color. You could put a transparent shader on it um, right here transparent make it a little bit orange or yellow for apple juice whatever you want to do